Aunt claims, then the official story has much to explain as to how a bullet wounded man was struck by a car and appears virtually uninjured. Regardless of what happened, after the confrontation with the police, Jahar is able to go and hide himself in a boat and Tamerlan is taken into custody, according to his aunt. The police state rolled into Watertown with a vengeance, intimidating media, forcing people out of their homes at gunpoint. Door to door armed searches without warrant. Police don't need warrants if property owners welcome, welcome them into their homes. Families thrown out of their homes at gunpoint to be searched without probable cause. No guns were pointed at any families. Let's watch that clip again, covered by footage of what actually happened. Door to door armed searches without warrant. Police don't need warrants if property owners welcome, welcome them into their homes. Families thrown out of their homes at gunpoint to be searched without probable cause. No guns were pointed at any families. But as you saw with your own eyes, people were forced out of their homes and had guns pointed at them. In the end, it was a homeowner who called the police to report suspicious activity in his boat. Police responded, fired multiple rounds into the boat, and I'm sure were shocked when Jahar was able to climb out of the boat under his own power. He is bloodied, but doesn't yet seem to have the wound in his mouth that would be reported later. If he indeed shot himself through the mouth, I doubt he'd be this mobile, and it's a pretty safe bet that he'd be suffering much heavier blood loss. Jahar is currently in custody awaiting trial. His brother Tamerlan is now deceased. But even with one suspect dead and another in jail, the story didn't end there. An acquaintance of Tamerlan was killed during an FBI interrogation. The FBI's story changed multiple times as to how their agent felt his life was in danger. Whether it was Todashev's martial arts skills or a potential weapon in his hands, the FBI agent shot Todashev execution style, according to Todashev's father. InfoWars talked to Todashev's widow about the killing. That night I was actually in Atlanta, Georgia. I was about seven hours away from there. I was at work when it happened. And um, this is not what exactly he said. He, he felt strange about it. He said, this is not the first interview that was coming over and they called him, they told him that's going to be, this is going to be his last interview. The agents from Boston, they come in to speak with him and he said, you guys, I'm just tired of coming to your office. If you want to speak with me, you can come to my house. And he said that if anything happens to me, just say, say, don't, don't be quiet. Just say what happened to me. If anything happens, he wasn't scared. If he would, he probably would not even speak with them in the first place. But since he even invited him to, he, to our home, that means he he wasn't scared of them and um, they have interviewed him he would not respond his cell phone or anything and um, they have his friend waiting him outside but suddenly they let him go after four hours um, and some of the agents still were still with Ibrahim and as right now they've been pulling so many statements that he was armed and he was unarmed and that he was um, his body was a weapon since he's an MMA, MMA fighter, but he just had his knee surgery back in March. So he wasn't able to move pretty quick, pretty fast or do anything. And um, after we actually, after already all that happened, we when we was able to enter the house, um, he had seven shots. One was in the back of the head. And not, it has nothing to do with him uh, start attacking them as, as they said, they come in with the knife, with the blade, with the broom, with the swords. I think they um, came with the five different statements. Um, yeah, for those that don't know, sword. it's important you say that. They've now admitted that he didn't have a weapon, didn't attack him. So as the runners take to the streets once again, let us not forget all of the lies, half-truths, disinformation, and teleprompter reading that has hindered justice for all of the victims of April 15th, 2013. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. Alex Jones may sound crazy, but still has 300 million YouTube. Uh, well, he had 300 million people that have watched him on YouTube. And well, that's a great report from Jakari Jackson. I want to make it clear that we pointed out at the time, and one of the reasons that they put these guys up as patsies, 
was because we're making it clear at the time that the Southern Poverty Law Center and the mainstream media, Mockingbird Press, and I'm not using that as a metaphor, that's a CIA operation. They were setting up patriots. They were going to blame this on quote unquote right wing patriots like we see them creating that narrative right now at the Bundy Ranch. First they assassinate your character, then they assassinate you. We're going to talk about that when we come back. We're going to talk about how they're setting this up. And we're also going to talk about Agenda 21. Look at what they're doing, though. Just this last week, we had the Monday after the showdown on Saturday, we had Glenn Beck put Mr. Bundy on his show and start pushing the idea that he's part of the sovereign citizen movement. That is a loaded term. That's a loaded label that law enforcement has been trained to perceive as a direct immediate threat to their safety. Then three days later, we got Harry Reid talking about domestic terrorists. Now today, we've got MSNBC talking about insurgents. They're keeping the rhetoric. They're building it. They're trying to create that narrative. We're going to talk to you about that right after the break. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. The next 30 seconds could save your life or that of someone you love. The Peacekeeper Mini by Tiger Light is the latest in high-tech self-defense. Combining the number one rated Tiger Light with the amazing new Bluetooth GPS crowd alert technology, there is nothing like it. Endorsed by top police, military, and self-defense experts. Pre-order now at one-third the retail price at Indiegogo.com. Search Peacekeeper Mini. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Attention, men suffering from ED. My name is Matt Cook, and I hated the humiliation and embarrassment of ED. I couldn't stand disappointing my wife anymore. Then I discovered this strange exercise that makes ED go away. I made you this new video at quickedfix.com showing you how easy it is to fix ED better than pills. Now my wife and I are like newlyweds again thanks to this strange exercise that fixed my ED better than pills. And it works for almost all men who try it. My half of our love life is better than anything I've ever experienced before. Things are so much better now. Everything kind of came back overnight. My girlfriend is very happy. I have used your system for about three weeks, and I'm already seeing great results. But warning, the drug companies dread my strange exercise because it fixes ED better than pills. They hate the lost profits from men dumping their pills. They want me to take the video down. So watch now at quickedfix.com. Discover the strange exercise that fixes ED better than pills. That's quickedfix.com. 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 Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be concluding the show today. And we'll try to take your calls in overdrive if we got time. But I've got to cover some of this news about what's breaking across the country. Because it's not just the Nevada Ranch. The same sort of thing is happening to small family businesses that have been in business for generations in North Carolina with fisheries. And it's the same type of tactics that we see being used against the Bundys. 
But before I get into that, let's let's repeat this. Uh, TSA agents patting down two and six year old children. This is a story that's up on Infowars.com. It's linked on the Drudge Report. Absolutely amazing and repulsive what they're doing to our children, what we're letting them do to our children. Listen to this. In response to a huge backlash, the TSA amended its policy in 2011 to massively reduce pat-downs of children under the age of 12. Infants were allowed to pass through x-ray or body scanners multiple times if there's any anomaly in order to prevent the need for a physical search. Now, okay, what are we doing allowing them to search our children to put their hands all over their bodies? Clearly in this video, the uh, girl that was having this done to her, the six-year-old girl says, I I've got to go, I've got to go. She's not comfortable with that. She shouldn't be comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable with that. David Simpson here in Texas was not comfortable with that. He put in a bill in 2011, and it immediately passed in the House. And when it got to the Senate, Dewhurst, our lieutenant governor, who has his previous job description was all CIA stuff. These guys walked it back. They basically threatened to turn Texas into a no-fly zone. And we found the documents, John Corbett, in part of his lawsuit and, and discovery, he listed uh, documents that he was allowed to see. Uh, and basically, the government put on Pacer.gov, they listed the unredacted portion of the lawsuit where he quoted them saying that in 2011, at the same time, the threatening to turn Texas into a no-fly zone, they, uh, they were saying internally in their own documents that there was no threat to airplanes or airports. The whole thing was a lie. It's a fraud. Why are we letting them do this to our children? David Simpson tried to walk that back, not only then in 2011, but he tried to do it last year. Both times he lost thanks to people like David Dewhurst, Republican CIA member, who walked this thing back. Now we see it happening again. And why are we allowing our children to be passed through x-ray machines multiple times? so that they don't get touched by these invasive goons. Why would we let our kids be passed through x-ray machines multiple times? That's absolutely asinine. But I want to get back to this situation here at the Bundy Ranch. As I mentioned before, we see the rhetoric escalating. It was a week ago that Glenn uh, Beck tried to pen the label of a sovereign citizen movement on Mr. Bundy, and that was not what he was saying. He was saying that the state and local government was sovereign. They should be doing something about this. Then four days later, three days later on Thursday, we saw Harry Reid uses the term domestic terrorist. Clearly a lie, clearly over the top. Now we've got MSNBC calling the people that were there, calling the Bundys insurgents, escalating this. This is what we saw developing at the Boston bombing last year. It was the Southern Poverty Law Center that was coming in and pushing on that at the time as well. Oh, we think this might be some domestic terrorist. This might be right-wing terrorists. We started exposing that. We started looking at crowdsourcing investigations, pictures that we're putting up, showing how they were setting this thing up, and they canceled their press conferences and went with a different story, using these guys who they'd worked with in the past as patsies. That's what I firmly believe. But let's look at what's going on. Who are the real terrorists here? What we saw at the BLM, I just made a quick list of some of their crimes. Assault with deadly weapons as they were training snipers on people who were unarmed. Battery of protesters beating them, armed robbery, grand larceny, denial of civil rights in the free speech areas, impersonating an officer. That's right, impersonating an officer. We have Congressman Steve Stockman from Texas who wrote a letter and said, you know what? When you have to use law enforcement, the law says you shall contract with local law enforcement, not do it yourself. We're going to be right back in overdrive. Stay tuned. I want to finish this. Visit GCNlive.com today. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 